it's uh, Darren from Moonhouse Studios again um, just doing a quick video called Living with the QCOM Pro X um, I bought this uh, control surface because it looked absolutely perfect for what I needed to work with Cubase on a PC and um, I have been learning a few of the quirks and trying to put them right so the first one I think that most people come across is the wobbly QCON not sure why this happens I mean surely they could sort that out in the factory but if you flip it over you'll find that there's four rubber feet on the underside that's what's causing the problems so have a look through your washer collection your whatever you bits and pieces drawer find a suitable washer I've got a black one there and you unscrew one, one of the feet put the washer underneath it and then screw the foot back into place on top of it now if like me you found that those screws are really soft and they've actually stripped the heads when you're trying to get it out all is not lost I mean you can still take your um, washer and with just a bit of super glue, plastic glue, something like that, you'll be able to just glue that onto the bottom of the foot and it will do exactly the same job, it just won't be quite as neat. So turn the unit over, give it a quick tap both sides and that's fine, that's not going anywhere. You do wonder why this can't be sorted out of the factory, don't you? But I'm not sending my unit back just for the sake of gluing a washer onto the bottom. And just so you don't make the same mistake as I did, if you, like me, like to have a, a keyboard in front of your QCon, then don't put the extra washer on the front foot, put it on one of the back feet, because otherwise it'll just tilt it up and you'll have a kind of diagonal line which won't look particularly neat. And if you're particularly um, bothered about those sorts of things, it will irritate the hell out of you. <laughs> Right, so here's my niggle for this particular uh, broadcast, and that's the stereo meter bridge. We can uh, play a piece of music here, and you can see all of my mixer is working as it should. The stereo uh, bus and the master are fine, and also looking along the meter bridge, we've got the LEDs working as well, but the stereo is not and apparently according to icon that's a, a problem with the Mackie controller there's no command that uh, allows it to communicate with that stereo meter bridge um, am i going to lose any sleep over that probably not i don't actually use the meter bridge to master from as such but it would be nice to have it there and icon's solution well we have to go to our door manufacturers and ask them to sort it out Hmm, I think it might be nice if Icon did that. If you're using Bitwig, on the other hand, you're okay. So it's just the rest of us that have to suffer this particular ignominy.